Thank you all for coming to our 1030 session. In the agenda, we had originally a conversation between Morris Chan of TSMC and Jensen Huang of NVIDIA. Morris uh, was not able to make it uh, because of uh, an illness. He is fine. So we had uh, some uh, last minute changes here and Jensen is the star of the shows. Um, we figure we'll open it up and make it a more casual conversation. We have with us, of course, Jensen Huang, co-founder NVIDIA. And we have with us two of our mentees, Jeannie Kim and Howard Ye, um, both actually from, uh, from Penn, um, to liven things up and give the young people's perspective, so to speak. Um, let me start with uh, Jensen. Jensen co-founded NVIDIA in 1993 and has served as its president and CEO since inception. NVIDIA is the world's leader in GPU and is one of the largest semiconductors, fabulous, largest fabulous company in the world. While he has the uh, requisite and uh, obligatory engineering degree from Oregon and Stanford, Jensen is more than just a uh, computer head. He's, um, he's a master table tennis champion who actually appeared in Sports Illustrated uh, in his teens. Um, a little bit from uh, history here. And I'm sure that the skills he picked up at that game, which is speed, lightning flash reflexes, have served him very, very well in building up NVIDIA to its stature today. Um, so I will uh, open it up to uh, questions. I will lead off with uh, some questions from Jensen and make it more conversational. Um, Jensen, uh, first of all, obviously, the, uh, on NVIDIA, you started this thing in 1993. What inspired you to start NVIDIA at that age? Uh, well, first of all, thank you. Thank you, Bernie, for, uh, uh, for uh, the introduction, and, and it's a great pleasure to be here. Uh, before I, before I uh, answer that question, I, I just need to share with you some of the conversations I had with Morris as we were getting ready for, uh, for this session. You know, we were, he was noticing that, um, uh, we're both noticing that, that in fact, the, the three speakers that were lined up, uh, it was Morris and me and then Steve Chan, uh, were uh, three generations of entrepreneurs. You know, Morris started TSMC, I started NVIDIA, and Steve Chan started uh, YouTube. And, um, uh, and I made, made the observation that, that um, uh, in Morris's generation, when you started a company, uh, it, it is, in technology, it's typically related to the industry. You're doing something that's either uh, semiconductor equipment or the usage of semiconductor equipment or some fundamental new, new semiconductor technology or uh, but something very close to the, the center of the core of the industry. And my generation uh, utilized that technology. Utilized the, the, uh, the fundamental technology that was created in semiconductors. Uh, utilized the business model of the, of the fabulous semiconductor industry. And we created applications of semiconductors. And that's, that was um, the nature of the, the, um, the type of companies that were created during my time. And, and it's interesting to note that, that um, the generation after me, uh, it, it was the application of the technology we created. Mm -hmm. And you, you keep moving out, and you've got you've to ask yourself, what's the generation after Steve Chan? And you know, it's, um, uh, what, kind of, what kind of new uh, businesses and services that they, um, uh, they start as a result of that. But it was, it was interesting to see that there were three generations of, of, uh, of entrepreneurs. Um, when I started the, the company, it was, 19, uh, it was late 92 when we started thinking about, about NVIDIA. And um, during that time, the PC was, was just starting to become uh, usable. Prior to that, it was, um, uh, frankly, unless you really care about, about computation, uh, you stayed away from the PC. And um, uh, this was uh, Windows, I guess, Windows 3.1. It was uh, relatively usable. 
Uh, this was during the peak of the workstation industry. And uh, as we looked at the PC, and people were talking about where the PC would go, one of the perspectives that uh, we had, uh, that the three founders of NVIDIA had, were that um, maybe the greatest impact of the personal computer was going to be to the consumer. And the technologies that were necessary to um, uh, supplement what was already there, the microprocessor and the operating system, uh, was going to be rich graphics, multimedia technology, and the type of things that would make um, uh, the personal computer much more usable, useful, and approachable for um, uh, the common consumer. The technology that we thought was most important was graphics, and, and the reason for that is um, uh, we thought that graphics, um, if thought of like audio, like video, uh, and thought of as a, as a digital medium, uh, it, it, it would um, uh, have an application uh, or a characteristic that was very unique because it was completely interactive. Every time you use graphics, it would be different. And in fact, as you were sitting on, you know, listening to the previous, um, uh, previous session, one of the observations that I made, they made about the virtual world, well, the virtual world wouldn't be possible without interactive graphics, where everybody's, everybody's experience would be very different uh, and we can have a shared experience. And, and that was, that was kind of what we envisioned, that, that, um, uh, that graphics would fundamentally transform the computing experience and create the type of, or enable the type of applications uh, that um, uh, would make the personal computer much more useful to, to, uh, uh, to consumers. The graphic, I guess, uh, business has evolved quite a bit. Um, um, and you speak about, you know, Steve, uh, Steve Chen and YouTube. What new uses of graphics do you see that are below the radar screen, so to speak? The next YouTube or you know, the next game that you are most excited about? You know, you've been uh, a visionary in terms of being early, catching the trend. 